Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to factor the sum or difference of two perfect cubes. But before we begin, I want to just review with you what is a perfect cube. Perfect cubes are numbers that are obtained when you cube any number. So if you take start with the number 1 and cube it, you have 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 3 cubed is 27. 4 cubed is 64, 5 cubed is 125, and 6 cubed is 216. Now, let's focus our attention on the template on how to factor a binomial when it happens to be a cubed plus b cubed. The template is going to be a binomial times a trinomial. The binomial will be a plus b. In other words, when you look up here, if you just drop off the threes, you'll have a plus b. The trinomial is a squared minus the product of a times b plus b squared. The only difference in the next template is the placement of the minus sign. You'll notice in the difference of two perfect cubes, the minus sign is in the binomial. You have to think in terms of you have one minus sign to spend, and it's already been spent in that first binomial, and so everything else is positive. Now, let's take a look at, a, at an example. I'm going to start with x cubed plus 8. We can clearly see this is the sum of two cubes. To factor that, you are going to have a binomial times a trinomial, and before we begin, what I'd like for you to do is change out that 8 and rewrite it as a perfect cube in cubic form. The reason why we're going to do this is because now the binomial will be a little bit easier to see because all we're going to do is drop the 3's. And so our binomial is going to be x plus 2. The trinomial is going to be obtained by squaring x minus, because that's in the template, the product of 2 times x, or in other words, just push those two terms together and you have 2x. And then the square of 2, which is 4. And that's how you factor the sum of two perfect cubes. Now, let's go to our worksheet. And I'm going to walk through some of these examples with you. I'm going to particularly look at question number 1. Again, this is the sum of two perfect cubes. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to rewrite that 64 as 4 cubed. Now we're ready to put it in, in the template. Let's drop off the 3's, drop those off, and you have x plus 4. The trinomial is obtained by squaring x, pushing those two together, and squaring the 4. The only difference in this problem and the difference of those two perfect cubes, again, is the placement of the minus sign. So if it was x cubed minus 64, we would again drop off the 3's, and we have x minus 4. And as I said, we've already spent our minus sign, so Everything else is going to be positive. You're going to push those two together. You're actually multiplying them. And then square the 4. So you can see the similarities between these two problems. Let's try one more. I'm going to jump to number 3. In number 3, it is not as easily recognized as a sum of two perfect cubes until you factor out the 3 you'll notice they both have a common factor of 3. So if you divide out the 3, you get u cubed plus 1. And now you can clearly see that you've got the sum of two perfect cubes. That 3 stays on the outside of the parentheses at all times. And since 1 is a perfect cube, I'm going to stick that 3 right there. Our binomial is going to be u plus 1. Again, we just simply drop off the 3's. 
and then we're going to square the U minus, we're going to push those two together, minus U, you can put a 1 there, but it's not really necessary, plus 1. And that is how you factor the sum of two perfect cubes.